please join in praying for the sick and homebound and those on our parish prayer list. Father of goodness and love, hear our prayers for the sick members of our community and for all who are in need. Amid mental and physical suffering, may they find consolation in your healing presence. Show your mercy as you close wounds, cure illnesses, make broken bodies whole, and free downcast spirits. May these special people find lasting health and deliverance, and so join us in thanking you for all your gifts. We ask this through the Lord Jesus, who healed all who believe. Amen. The entrance antiphon. Your priests, O Lord, should be clothed with justice. Your holy one shall ring out their joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. We might think, why there are so many of us here? Uh, there is a beautiful uh, day. We have the memorial of Father uh, Michael McGivney, a priest and founder of Knights of Columbus, and I welcome all the knights here in the morning. Uh, so uh, Father Michael uh, McGivney was beatified, uh, beatified on October 31st, 2020 in Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, he was born in 1852 uh, of Irish immigrant parents and baptized there on August uh, in Waterbury, in August 19th, in St. Peter's Church, uh, to what is today the Basilica of Immaculate Conception. Ordained priest on December 22nd, 1877, he was assigned to St. Mary's Church, New Haven, where he remarkable ability to relate to all people of every social, economic, and religious background became apparent. In 1882, he founded the Knights of Columbus, a fraternal benevolent association that offers spiritual and apostolic direction to Catholic men. He died on tuberculosis on August 14th, 1890. So through his intercession, let us pray for ourselves, for the Knights, uh, for their mission, and also for the intention of this Holy Eucharist uh, for Cecilia Walsh. Let us acknowledge our sins and let us ask for forgiveness. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Christ, have mercy. Christ, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of eternal mercy, who set your priest, blessed Michael, in the church, to comfort the suffering and the weary, the lonely and the oppressed, with works of charity and a gentle heart, grant that through his intercession we too may become vessels of mercy in our day, and so enter into our heavenly inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. 
The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, what is the meaning of this proverb that you recite in the land of Israel? Fathers have eaten green grapes. Thus their children's teeth are on edge. As I live, says the Lord God, I swear that there shall no longer be anyone among you who will repeat this proverb in Israel. For all lives are mine. The life of the father is like the life of the son. Both are mine. Only the one who sins shall die. If a man is virtuous, if he does what is right and just, if he does not eat on the mountains, nor raise his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel, if he does not defile his neighbor's wife, nor have relations with a woman in her menstrual period, if he opposes no one, gives back the pledge received for a gift, commits no robbery, if he gives food to the hungry and clothes the naked, if he does not lend at interest nor exact usury, if he holds off from evil doing, judges fairly between a man and his opponent, if he lives by my statutes and is careful to observe my ordinances, that man is virtuous. He shall surely live, says the Lord God. But if he begets a son who is a thief, a murderer, or lends at interest an exact usury, this son certainly shall not live. Because he practiced all these abominations, he shall surely die. His death shall be his own fault. Therefore, I will judge you, house of Israel, each one according to his ways, says the Lord God. Turn and be converted from all your crimes, that they may not cause guilt for you. Cast away from all the crimes you have committed, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Why should you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of anyone who dies, says the Lord God. Return and live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsor psalm response is create a clean heart in me, O God. Create a clean heart. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create a clean create. heart in me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Create a clean heart in me, O God. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite heart and spirit, a heart contrite and humbled. O God, you will not spurn. Create a clean heart in me, O God.
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Children were brought to Jesus that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples rebuked them, but Jesus said, let the children come to me and do not prevent them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. After he placed his hands on them, he went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel is uh, pretty short. It's like six verses. However, it's a very important message for us and the, t and the key to the life of the Lord. Uh, you know, sometimes we're thinking how we have to lead our spiritual life. You know, we have to follow this saint, another saint. Uh, and it's a beautiful thing because the tradition of the church is giving us many beautiful uh, the paths uh, how to um, grow in the holiness. Uh, but this gospel today is just, you know, simple and to the point. Uh, so what Jesus is saying, be like children. So that means that we need to go to the uh, playground now and just acting like the kids. Uh, you know, of course, it's not about uh, acting uh, like kids, but having the heart of the child. What does it mean? Um, you know, Jesus is saying that the only those who have the child's heart can reach the kingdom of heaven, receive the kingdom of heaven. And uh, one thing, um, we know that the children are dependent on the parents, right? It means that, you know, they cannot do too much without them. Uh, you know, uh, they trust them. I know if you were kids, uh, you were children, you were m dreaming about becoming independent, yeah? When I was a kid, I was telling my pa parents, I wish that I would be an adult now. I could decide by myself. <laughs> but when, you know, we are reaching the older age, we are thinking, oh, it would be nice to go back to be a child, right? Not thinking about anything. Yeah. Uh, but that is what Jesus is giving us today, um, to learn how to depend on the Father, because he knows our hearts. He knows truly what we need. Uh, Jesus wants us not to lose this innocence of the child. Uh, and you know, once I have heard, and it truly happens, if you want to have a miracle happen, ask the children to pray for that intention. Uh, when I was, I think it was 10, 12, uh, my cousin got sick, uh, not got sick, she was, uh, she was pregnant, and the, the doctors were saying that actually, uh, it's a very dangerous situation, they do not know if the child will survive, and I remember, in that time, I was not uh, really close to the Lord, not praying at all. But I had my uh, rosary, and I prayed to, I said to the Lord, if I pray the rosary, the miracle will happen. And the next day, the doctors called, and they said that everything is fine in some miracles way. Yeah? Was that just a coincidence? Or maybe, you know, um, the child's heart, you know, trusting and believing that something will happen uh, is very powerful. So my brothers and sisters, that is a very important message for us today, uh, to allow ourselves to be dependent on the Father, trusting, believing to Him. St. Therese of Lisieux, in her little way, uh, she uh, get uh, uh, really beautiful words about how to come close to, the, to God. She, she wrote, we no longer have to take the trouble of climbing stairs because an elevator has replaced this. Uh, I wanted to find an elevator which would raise me to Jesus, for I am too small to climb the rough stairway of perfection. I searched then in the scriptures, and I read these words. Let the children come to me. I felt I found 
I had found what I was looking for. The elevator which must raise me to heaven is your arms, O oh Jesus. And for this I had no need to grow up, but rather I had to remain little and become this more and more. Uh, today we celebrate uh, the memorial of Father McGivney, a, father, a founder of Knights of Columbus. Um, and it is what we know about him as well. His heart was with the Lord. Uh, he was a man of great uh, humility, service, holiness, and piety. Uh, you know, there is a, one of the testimonies given by uh, his friend, a priest, Father Slocum. And he wrote those words to Father about Father McGivney. Perhaps there are not many priests in the diocese today we, who knew Father McGivney more closely than I did. In the early days of our priesthood, we were stationed in adjoining parishes in the city of New Haven, so that I had ample opportunity to witness the trials that visit him when he engaged in the work of founding the Knights of Columbus. Father McGivney, though a man of an assuming character, was possessed of an indomitable will by which, aided by the grace of God, he was able to face unkind and unjust criticism from all directions in his great effort to found a society for the benefit of young men and the glory of the church. And then Father uh, Slocum says, he was almost childlike in his manner, yet capable when the occasion required of great strength of purpose. Um, so let this uh, great saint for us, uh, and there is no canonization yet, but, uh, but we'll, he's in heaven, uh, will be for us a great example as well where we can this Christian perfection found, you know, of putting our hearts in God's hands yeah, becoming like the little one. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as we now offer our prayer for our community and for the world, let us pray in the spirit of Blessed Michael, not only for ourselves, and our own needs, but for the entire people. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for all bishops throughout the world, that God will guide them, protect them as they teach, govern, and sanctify the flock entrusted to their care, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For priests, including chaplains of the Knights of Columbus, the Blessed Michael McGivney, life as a holy and heroic parish priest will inspire them to live their vocation with fidelity and evangelical zeal, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the lady, that they will fulfill their baptismal call with creative courage and contribute to the sanctification of the world, as blessed Michael inspired Catholics of his day to do through the Knights of Columbus, we pray to you, O Lord. For, voca for vocations that Blessed Michael will continue to inspire many young people as he did two brothers who answered God's call to the priesthood, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord for immigrants and for families, especially those who struggle from the death of a breadwinner, that Blessed Michael will advocate for them from heaven as he did on earth, we pray to you, Lord. Lord for the cause of life and for parents facing negative parental diagnosis, that Blessed Michael will intercede for them and help all people to see the image of God in every human life, especially the marginalized and the vulnerable, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord and for our beloved dead, especially those who have perished from the coronavirus, that Blessed Michael, who ministered without hesitation during the pandemic of his own day, may intercede for us today and hasten the end of the coronavirus pandemic, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord and for the canonization of Blessed Michael, that a second miracle attributed to his intercession may open the way for him to be proclaimed a saint of the universal church, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord hear our God of mercy, you know the many needs of your people Hear our prayers and through the intercession of Blessed Michael, grant what we ask in faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us a bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our speech, our drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may be accepted by you, O Lord, my sacrifice in your sight this day, be pleasing to you, O God. Hold me your palace, my Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on the altar in commemoration of Blessed Michael, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right <clears throat> it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Michael you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and the saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, it is gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread, we proclaim your dead, the Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from sin. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Communion antiphon. Blessed is the servant whom the Lord finds watching when he comes. Amen, Amen, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Blessed Michael, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Do you curse the minister, please come forward. You are sent from this assembly to bring the word of God and the bread of life to the sick and humbled members of our parish family. Go with our love, our care, and our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and gentle healer. Uh, 
to all knights, uh, to all of you, my brothers, uh, happy feast day. Uh, yeah, let the Sir Michael uh, be with you uh, every moment and uh, help you with the mission uh, that you have. And thank you so much for helping our parish in so many ways. So may the Lord also bless you for that. Uh, after the final blessing, we have the Novena to Our Lady of Częstochowa. So, of course, everyone is invited uh, to stay uh, and join, uh, join us. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth in hope and peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We, stand we stand before you, Holy Spirit, spirit as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, us make yourself at home in our hearts, teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful, do not let us promote disorder, do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you for the world and every place and time in the communion of the Father and the Son forever and ever. Amen. Our novena prayer to Our Lady of Chestahova in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection implored your help or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly to you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer us. Our Lady and our Mother, trusting in your maternal goodness and powerful intercession with your Son, we place before you our humble prayers and petitions. To you we commend all our needs and the needs of our families and our parish. For our negligence in the faith, for the religious indifference to which we have strayed so often from God, unmindful of his presence and love, we ask you, Mother, intercede for us, for our conduct, which has not always been in accord with our holy faith, nor with the dignity of a child of God, for sins against life, for drunkenness, selfishness, carelessness, envy, social discord, and lax of morals, we yes. ask you, Mother, intercede for us, for being so preoccupied with ourselves that we did not see the needs of our brothers and sisters, the hungry, the homeless, the sick, and the lonely, we ask you, Mother, intercede for us. An act of consecration. Mother of God, Immaculate Mary, to you we consecrate our body and soul, all our prayers, works, joys, and sufferings, all that we are and possess. With eager heart, we dedicate ourselves to you in a slavery of love. We give you complete freedom in making use of us for the salvation of all and the assistance of the Holy Church, of which you are the mother. From now on, we wish to do everything with you, through you, and for you. We know that by our own strength, we shall accomplish nothing. You, however, can do everything that is the will of your Son, and you are always victorious. Grant then help of Christians, that our families, parish, and country may truly be the kingdom of your Son and yours. Amen. It is to you, O Holy Mother of God, that we go for refuge and protection. Look kindly on us as we cry to you in our need. Glorious and blessed Virgin, be with us always and rescue us from every kind of danger. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hey, Holy Queen, enthroned above, Triumphal each cherubim, sing with us each. 
seraphim, heaven and earth resounded him. Salve, 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 Regina. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day and happy feast day. God bless.